Hello, Pisces. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot, and thank you so much for joining me today. So let's jump in and see what the cards are indicating for you, Pisces, for the week of August 8th through the 14th, 2022. And keep in mind, Pisces, these are very general readings, not one-on-one -on -one readings. Some things will resonate, some will not. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and help support my channel. So, whoops, let's begin. What's coming through for Pisces? Okay. First up, we have the Knight of Cups, followed by the Ace of Wands. the Ten of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. Okay. Okay. Pisces, there's a message here that you are near the end of dealing with what I'm going to say is hostile people around you. Wow. You could... Uh, this could be in the work environment. This could even be some family members, very overbearing, critical, possibly always judging, criticizing you, Pisces. And that energy is going to be coming to an end. And I feel that you're turning a corner this week, Pisces. You've got some new, fresh energy coming in and you're taking control, especially how you interpret and react to this criticism that I keep picking up that's surrounding you. It's kind of like you're really uh, gonna be putting an end to this. Now, first thing I'm noticing here with your cards, you have two aces. So definitely there is a couple of opportunities or options or possibilities to change up the situation you might have been dealing with for some time. But first, we're gonna start with your Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups is in regards to what you desire. And that certainly could be uh, the situations that you seem to be in, possibly with overbearing family members or over critical demanding like work environment, maybe bosses, supervisors, or just people around you. Very negative, low vibrational energy is what I'm picking up. And of course, what you're desiring is to rid yourself of this. So with the Knight of Cups coming in, the knights create that change. They stir it up. They create movement. There can be traveling, moving for some Pisces individuals. You might be leaving a work environment, going off to a new company, a new job, and you're leaving all that behind. That's one solution that I see happening for some Pisces individuals. For others who might be dealing with maybe overbearing family members, you're kind of doing something out of the ordinary. This knight is on a unicorn. Something very rare, unique, out of the ordinary. So you are handling this now in a whole new way. There's an indication here that if it is family members uh, like wanting to maintain control over you, once they lose their control, things will be totally different. Now for other Pisces, the prospect here of new love, new relationships, new ideas, just put the word new in front of anything that you're interested in with this Knight of Cups coming on the scene. This can be certainly a new job, a new desire, a new interest, new friendships. Knight of Cups is what you feel passionate about, what you're feeling, your emotions, what you're wanting at this time, Pisces. And with the full moon on the 11th this week, you could be greatly affected by this feeling, just, you know, kind of feeling very strongly. You have this desire for something in particular, and that could be moving from where you're living, moving from your existing job, your work environment, moving out of a relationship, wanting something new. And we also have on Monday the 8th, the 88 Lionsgate portal 
where you can set your intentions this week, Pisces, for what it is you desire. Very strong planetary alignment with the Sirius star lining up and being at its brightest. And I'm just really getting very drawn to the unicorn's horn, the tip. So really about setting your intentions very strong indication here that what you're looking for whether it's new love a new job a new home whatever it is be sure to set your intentions on the eighth next the ace of wands this is something that is presenting itself a new opportunity it can be what you're going to be taking advantage of to maybe get out of an unpleasant work environment. It can be something that's showing up or something that you've been working on and working towards, maybe networking, you know, trying to put the feelers out there for finding out if there's positions available, going off definitely to a new company to eliminate what I'm picking up is an unpleasant work environment for some of you. Ace of Wands definitely can be a new beginning for whatever you feel passionate about and also in regards to your purpose, your calling, what you feel you're meant to do here on this earth. So it can be the beginning of a new life. It can be a new lifestyle and you're just raring to go, very fiery energy. So something is changing up what I was picking up in the beginning is an unpleasant, overbearing energy that's around you, whether it's uh, in the family, whether it's neighbors, whether it's the work environment. You could be moving house, and that eliminates the unpleasant neighbors. Next, the Ten of Wands. That's an indication of what you've been dealing with all this time, and it's coming to an end. There could be more things that add to this feeling of exhaustion here. Uh, this is a card in energy of really having too much on your plate, too much that you're handling. It's going to affect your health and well-being. But with this being the Ten of Wands, you're certainly near the end. You see the light off in the distance, and that's where this road is leading. So there is something coming about. Something's coming to an end, and certainly could be could be in regards to um, a job you don't enjoy, could be the end of a relationship that you felt was going nowhere. It could be in regards to where you're living, maybe something unpleasant about where you're living, whether it be the neighbors, the place itself, or the rising rate for your mortgage or rent. So it's coming to an end. Now your last card here is the Ace of Swords. Definitely another opportunity. Um, it can be in reference to your Ace of Wands. This shows up when you've been uh, through a tough time, and I'm definitely picking up for a majority of the Pisces that you've been dealing with something unpleasant. It's overbearing people or a hostile work environment or possibly, like I mentioned before, maybe your neighbor's next door. There's something just unpleasant around you that you've been dealing with. Ace of Swords is showing up that you will successfully be eliminating that from your life through some means that you're going to incorporate. You are incorporating the change, Pisces. Ace of Swords shows up when you've been through a long, tough journey, and that would be dealing with unpleasant, hostile, or overbearing individuals. Again, whether it be in the home environment, work environment, community, wherever it is, this is success. This is being able to move on. It's a triumph over solving that problem. So a lot of potential for what you desire, what you want to happen this week, Pisces. There's the potential. There's opportunities coming in. You just need to take advantage. And it doesn't hurt to set your intentions on Monday with the Lionsgate portal coming in. Now your numerology for your tarot cards is 1, 1, 10, and 1. So that adds up to 13, which reduces to 4. 4 is a very stagnant energy. Sometimes it's necessary. 
It can be in regards to stability and building a foundation and getting things put into place. But what I'm picking up for you, Pisces, there's this stagnant energy that has been around you repeatedly over and over again. It's not leaving. And your numerology is an indication you're breaking free of this. You're moving on to better things. Things that you will be able to build a solid foundation on, whether it be relationships, where you're living, or a job. Now let's take a look and see which crystal is being suggested for you for the week ahead. Okay. And you receive turquoise. And your message is spiritual path. Your true beliefs are becoming clearer to you, which prompts you to make necessary life changes. Exactly what I see happening with your tarot cards here. This can be an indication that you have been um, sending messages, your intentions, meditating in regards to what you've been dealing with, and this is moving on from what is the issue. This can be, Pisces, that you're kind of headed towards a group of more like-minded people, individuals that are more aligned with what you believe in, what you like to do, and certainly can be something metaphysical. So an indication here that your future, your gifts, your talents, it's becoming a little bit more clear to you this week as to how you can benefit from it and others around you in what you have to offer and an indication that you are certainly ready for this change, Pisces. Now let's take a look at your Oracle card for the message ahead. Or I should say for the week ahead. Okay, wow. You received hostilities, wow. This is the energy that I'm picking up like crazy, Pisces. This is where you're always in that fight or flight mode. You've got your defenses up because you're dealing with this kind of aggressive energy. It's almost like there's people around you that are jealous of who you are, Pisces, either in regards to uh, your appearance, your personality. This is very aggressive energy, which... This is like verbal or emotional abuse that can come into play. Is This is something where if it's in the work environment, it's always those little snide comments that get said where people try to pass it off as they're kidding, but they're really not. This is being excessively critical, demanding, possibly hurtful, very negative, hostile energy. So could be in regards to a work situation, uh, possibly community or a social situation. But for some Pisces, this it can be within the family where there's a very overbearing energy uh, family member that likes to have control of the family, possibly in regards to get-togethers, uh, always getting their way. And this week, you're changing things up. For some Pisces, I see you're moving away, far enough away where you don't have to deal with this energy. Could be moving from the job that you do because you are taking steps this week. You have not one, but two aces, which is opportunities, options, possibilities of leaving what this energy represents. You're leaving it behind because you've got the 10 of wands. So you are near the end of having to deal with that kind of energy. So Pisces, you're making some changes to rid yourself of this energy. And it certainly could be where you're heading more on a spiritual path, getting with a more spiritual group where you will have peace and harmony, so to speak, in your life. Now, last message here for the week ahead is a personal power message from the Starseed deck. You received... Ascension. Your soul is evolving to higher states of consciousness. You are ready for this. So definitely for the Pisces, 
that are really empathic, very spiritually motivated, psychic, you're tapping into almost like the next level kind of being guided. You've got a couple of aces where there's something presenting itself that you're going to be able to take advantage of. Certainly um, can be in the spiritual sense where maybe your gifts and talents will be made available where you can help others. So you're getting some mental clarity and also getting away from possible hostile energy that you've been dealing with for some time. Well, there you have it, Pisces. That was your messages and guidance for the week ahead. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe, help support my channel. Love and abundance to my Pisces family.